Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea. I hope you're all doing well tonight. It's still 63 degrees in Chicago and it's already, I think, 8 o'clock, maybe a little bit after 8. It's crazy. I love it, but it's crazy. It's going to be Christmas soon. Anyways, so I just seen that Amber uploaded and I thought, let's hop on and see what's going on in her life. Hopefully it's not too boring. Um, let me find it. Give me two seconds. There we go. Hey guys, welcome to a new way in video. So what she's doing, I would say, isn't necessarily unique. So I wore this hair scrunchie in yesterday's, yesterday's video, and we are wearing it again today because I am actually obsessed with it. So I literally planned my outfit around my hair scrunchie. I've never done that before. All right, so first things first, you guys know the drill. Let's answer the three questions. Do you like weight related vlogs better or do you prefer vlogs just about your day to day life? Honestly, I don't prefer one over the other. I will say weight related content is a lot easier for me to film because it's a big portion of my life right now. So I like to do a little bit of both. I like to show you guys a tiny bit of what I got going on in my life and I like to show you guys parts of my weight loss journey. Next question. Have you ever lied to us about your weight? Six years ago, I did. I'm gonna put the clip right here. My weight, I wouldn't say I've lied to you guys per se about it, but I definitely haven't been like- This is her raw fuck, it's a raw moment, I think. Very into like telling you guys my weight. Um, I'm fluctuating a lot currently with my weight. Um, it's frustrating because I'll do really good at something and then I will mess up and then I'll do really good at something and then I'll mess up. This used to happen to me a lot where I would lose like four pounds and then gain it back. But now currently it's to the point where I gain like, I mean, I lose about 15, 20 pounds and then I gain it back and that's really bad for me. And I haven't really been 100% honest about that because whenever someone asks me, you know, oh, she's gaining weight. And you wonder why everyone thinks you're full of beans all the time. Or whatever. I always just say I'm losing. I don't know. I, okay. I don't. That makes sense. Need the backlash at all. I just, I don't want it. I just feel like it's so much safer to just say. Who asks you? Who? I really want to know who asks you. What people want to hear and what I feel like people will not hate me for. I don't know how to explain it. It's definitely well, I, I don't think your weight has anything to do with it. I think you're just obnoxious and people don't care for your fake personality. See, now today I'm not digging the winged eyeliner. No. It wasn't bad yesterday, but today, no. My mistake, and I do regret it. I just don't like the way she does it. Ugh. I know there's no excuses for it, but I just remember at the time I really wanted to protect myself, my feelings, my mental. All you did was let people know that you are a pathological liar. That's all you did. Mental health. So I thought by not revealing my true weight and how I was doing. At revealing, that's called lying, knucklehead. On my weight loss journey was the right option for me, and I feel lying. You lying? What? I feel like I could have gone about it totally different. Have yeah, don't lie. Have I lied to you guys since then? No. Oh my God, no, she's not. No, she's not. I know there's been so many rumors about me lying about my weight all because I did it one- Oh, I'm not talking about that. It's everything else that you lie about. Time six years ago. I understand it's hard to gain people's trust, but you guys have to realize that it was a mistake I made and I have not made that same mistake since. Last question. What You're currently bullshitting us about Jade. We know she's there. This not, The lie is not about your weight this time, but nonetheless, it's a lie. A lie is a lie is a lie. What is something you noticed that got easier since you've lost so much weight? So I actually noticed really Fine. important things have gotten easier. Showering. I'm able to walk outside and enjoy it. Doing the dishes. Now I've said this before, I absolutely believe she was capable of all these things before. She just 
chose not to because she is lazy. She is quite possibly, next to Becky, the laziest human being I've ever seen. She's so lazy. Cleaning around the house, even just cooking. There was a time when I could only walk for a minute. There was a time where I couldn't even stand to cook to chop some zucchini. You could do it. You're just lazy. I mean, was it painful and uncomfortable? I'm sure, but you're still lazy. And now I'm cooking for 30 plus minutes. And I'm like, totally fine. Like, Oh my God, I used to be a chef. I would be on my feet for eight hours. Are you freaking kidding me? 30 minutes? I don't understand that. Like, it's so crazy how not only weight loss can help a body just feel so much better, but like every day actively moving more to build your stamina, it just completely changes everything. It's crazy. I can tell you without a doubt, weight loss is not all- Totally off sub subject, but I do like the sweater. I mean, I wouldn't wear it, but- it looks cute on her. Always the end all be all. I am down over 80 pounds, but I know for a fact, if I was not up moving more, walking, exercising, then my stamina would not be this good. It's losing weight. I don't think you have it. Weight isn't gonna be the only thing that builds my stamina up. I have to actually be trying to move more and move my body more and get used to those movements because then eventually I'll just be able to do more and more and more. It's heartbreaking that this is coming from a 30 year old woman. 30 years old. My grandma's birthday is today. She turned 86 years old. 86 years old. And could run circles around Amber. There's not ever been a problem with her moving around. And I just don't, I can't wrap my brain around it still. Been watching her for a gajillion years, but it still shocks me that somebody so young is so immobile. Like I used to be completely like immobile. Like I, it's just hard for me to wrap my head around like the person I used to be. And I thoroughly believe that exercising standing more all of the things are just as important to my stamina and overall heart health than just losing weight all right i don't know that i feel like this is kind of like all um what would be the word she's feeding the people what she thinks they want to hear and it all sounds great how did this all come about i don't know who's who's feeding her this information this is all like common sense. This should have been something that you should have been doing, you know, 10 years ago. Now all of a sudden it's like, ding, the light bulb went off. I don't know. It's so weird. All right, so my weigh in. Ever since Thanksgiving, I I don't know what's happened. <coughs> my brain is not running on 100%, let's do this. Instead it's running on like 40%, let's do this. Let's eight. try to get away with ordering tons of takeout. I know this time of year is hard for many people. And like, there's always people- Well, and I also give her this. I understand that not everybody enjoys to cook. I love it. I went to school for it. I did it for many, many years. So I truly love it. I, I'm like in my, totally in my element when I'm just cooking up a storm. I get it, that's not for everybody. But holy crap, three meals were ordered out in one day? That's nuts, I've never heard anyone do that. That's crazy. People joking about how they gain weight during the holidays, et cetera, et cetera. And I kind for of want sure. to break that cycle. And like, I currently am breaking that cycle, but I'm not breaking it in the way that I want to. Sure, I'm losing a few pounds here and there, but like, I want to- Go to a therapist. I don't believe she has one. Be like actively like losing chunks of weight during the holidays. I think that'd be kind of cool to brag about, but with a mixture of just like a C. See that? Why are you doing it to brag? Who gives a rat? I, I, you're still gonna be a, a shitty person if you don't get someone to talk to you to figure out how to like grow up and get past whatever trauma you claim that you've had. And oh, actually, see a therapist to brag about it sounds like a 10 year old seasonal depression moment i wasn't taking my meds right for a minute there i was going through personal things just a mixture of so much i just it's called being an adult you jackass i truly keep she's so irritated it and it's making it to where my progress is going super slow what i think is kind of cool now though is like my version of overeating now 
is so drastically different to my version of overeating when I was at my heaviest. My version of overeating now is ordering a unhealthy meal from a restaurant. Back in the day, that would have been just like normal. And my version of overeating would have been if I had like chips and Ben and Jerry's and a piece of candy on top of that unhealthy meal. So I've definitely made some, some big changes to what my overeating used to consist of and what my binging used to consist I mean, I hope she's right. It just sounds like she's just um, saying what she thinks everybody wants to hear. System versus what my overeating and binging looks like now. A big portion of my weight loss has honestly come down to the fact that I do not binge like I used to. And overall, when you look at the bigger picture, I am eating at home a lot more and focusing on calories. I've just had a few people say like, I'm not showing enough of my journey and I'm just talking too much about it. So I want to try to show more of my journey. I'm not really sure what that like entails. So if you guys want to tell me in the comments below, I would love to hear it. Like I genuinely- I don't know, what else would you want to see? I mean, she talks enough about it. I don't want to see anything. I mean, she already shows us walking Twinkie. She showed us the stairs. Um, I don't know what else would she, she doesn't do anything. She doesn't go anywhere. She doesn't drive. She doesn't have a license, doesn't have a car. It's not like she can go on hikes. She can't go on trips. You know, what else can she really show us? <clears throat> thought that I was showing my journey, but I don't know. I've gotten quite a few people saying that I'm not. Okay, so last Wednesday I weighed 491.4, and today I weighed. So that means this week I'm down one pound exactly, and that brings my total weight loss to 82 pounds. I'm not happy with only losing one pound. I'm not. It's just last week I did order takeout a few too many times. There was alcohol involved. I don't really drink alcohol, it's very rare, but I kind of just wanted to feel tipsy. So I did drink some alcohol and I shouldn't be doing those things. Like anything- Wait, what? I, why? You guys are gonna tell me in the comments below about being disappointed in me. I already feel for myself, but probably like 50 Who million times more than you do. But y'all, every single week I'm coming on here and I am losing weight. The slow weight loss is because no binging, but now I just need to do a little bit better. Like I was like a month ago, I was really, really focused in on like counting calories and I feel like I need to focus in more on that. So that is it for my weigh-in. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Good song. Well, that was just like I expected. Boring AF. Yay, she lost a pound. Doesn't really mean anything to me. Um, if she uploads tomorrow, I'll come back. I was thinking about doing a retro react. I see a lot of people, a lot of reaction channels doing the vlogmas from Christmas past of hers. And Willow Davis has been showing a lot of really, really funny ones, but he gets really bored easily. So he fast forwards through a lot of it where I actually want to see those parts because that's when at least she had her other fake personality and it was kind of funny. So with that being said, might try that tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Have a great night. Bye.